Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, it's time to sell a bunch of stuff. I'm going to sell some Muton corpses, some sectoid corpses, and a bunch of alien alloys because I have more of them than I, can, than I could ever possibly do anything with. That'll get me a bunch of money. And now my soldiers are back from Psy testing. Aside from Annette Durand. But, you know, she's a newbie. I don't need her, she's not part of my main squad. So, I'm going to, now that I have most of my soldiers back, I'm going to start giving them the gene mods that I need for the final mission. Which is the mind thing. Okay, who do I do first? Um, not Graves, of course, because I have no backup support. So there's Finn and Soul. Let's do Soul. Well, actually, wait a minute. No, I'm going to be taking Finn. I should do the ones that I'm going to take. I shouldn't... I don't think I should do the gene mods on my backup soldiers, but no. Uh, yeah, I should do it on the main ones. Okay, so Finn. Yeah. There's a neural damping. Confers plus 20 will when defending against side attacks and immunity to panic. Yep, that's the one. That one's not too good. Because it doesn't reduce the attack's chance of success. I wish it wasn't so vague, though. Causes damage to Psy attackers. It, how much? I don't know. I'm going to go with Neural Damping, though. Should I do anything else while I'm here? Anything else I do would take more time. It would add three days. I could, I could give everyone muscle fiber density. Wouldn't hurt. I could give everyone mimetic skin, but that's a little over the top, I think. Although it would be pretty funny. <laughs> Entire squad of mimetic skins. Except for the mechs, of course. I could give them secondary hearts. Hmm. Alright, depth perception, don't particularly care about, don't particularly care about that. Secondary heart would be nice, not required. Um, I'm not really interested in that. Bioelectric skin, don't care. Mimetic skin, pretty cool. I don't really... I don't know, I could make my entire squad have mimetic skin, but it honestly, it feels a bit cheap to do that. I don't think I should. It just seems a bit silly. So the question is, secondary heart. Yeah, why not? Thirty-five meld. Maybe that's too much. No, it's fine. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. All right, so let's do Isley. Neural damping. And should I do secondary hearts? I think I will. Yeah. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Okay, I would like to do arrow, but unfortunately she is wounded. So who does that leave? I can't do graves because there's no backup support at all. Well, I mean, there's some squaddies, but they're way too low level to be effective. A squaddy would be able to heal, what, like four or six hit points, which is not too good when my people have so many hit points. Sniper's good, can't do assault, can't do support. I think that's about all I can do for right now. Yeah. Anything else to do? We're researching the guided fusion launcher. I still don't know what that does. We will find out Do soon. Do have an ethical obligation to prepare these soldiers mm. for the changes, permanent changes, that they will experience? I'm nearly certain I don't need any consumables. However, it only costs five, so I might as well get one, just in case. Although, if I can take out a battleship while only taking less than 25% damage on one of my demons, I think I'm good. Even after we've defeated the remaining aliens, what then? 
Have we sacrificed our own humanity for a taste of their technology? And if we manage to exploit this power further, do we risk being consumed by it, presumably just as they were? Oh yeah, Dr. Shen, we're totally fucked after this. After we defeat the aliens, we're just gonna have all sorts of insane technology, and there's gonna be like, Psy Wars, and... Everybody's gonna be launching nukes at each other. It's gonna be crazy. But for now, let's just focus on the objective. Progress from China, combat stims. So, $630! I mean, space bucks. Okay, um... 638. What would it actually cost me to make them? I've never made them. Were they combat stims? Okay, so it would eat up alloys and berserker corpses. But it would only cost me... That is so worth it. I'm gonna get over $400, I think, from that, as well as some scientists. Excellent. That'll speed up my research a bit. It's an abductor. Abductor? What? Have I encountered an abductor before? Hmm. I don't know if I have. Should I be scared? Is it particularly nasty? It kind of sounds nasty. Bangs out. Closing on hmm. That thing is rather large. <laughs> it went down in two hits. Oh, boy. Oh, it only has 11. Although it does have a sectopod. You know, I'm not even going to pay attention to the species detected thing, because the last one, when I did the battleship one, was complete bullshit. It said there was no sectopod, and there was. It was complete crap. I'm not even going to pay attention to it. The only thing I'm going to pay attention to is the fact that it has 11 crew. So, in other words, it's medium in size. Alright. You and you, of course, have to take graves, and Spectre, you're my only sniper out. Soul, you're also my only heavy... My only really good heavy that's out. Ochner, I guess you're my next assault. So there you are, Gary Warner. What levels are you? Oh, you're maxed. What about Gary Warner? Oh, you're both maxed. It doesn't matter which one I take. Yeah, it really doesn't. They're, they're both the same. No special abilities whatsoever. Well, you know what? It's been a while since I've used Gary Warner for anything but an Exalt mission, so let's go ahead and take Gary Warner. Let's make stuff available. Check everyone. Oh, you should have shit in plating. Now I have enough for everyone. Spread the love. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. You are not good. Now you're good. Look at all those pretty satellites. I built that. I built all of those. Well, my engineering department did. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the alien crash site is... Blah, 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 blow up aliens, blah, blah, blah. Gam. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. All right. So, this thing is kind of huge, but there's only 11 targets inside of it, so it's not really that big. I guess it's going to be a case of a small amount of targets, but very heavy targets. Such as sectopods. Oh. That looks rather convenient. 
I almost want to. I almost want to sprint to it. Mm, but no, that's dumb. It's stupid. Why can't I select? There we go. Let's take a look around here. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone with mimetic skin. So my ability to scout is significantly damaged. Although you do have a battle scanner, which is quite nice. In fact, maybe I should throw one right now. Yep, I think I will. What is that glowy thing? I don't know what that is. It looks suspicious, but maybe it's just like a fire or something, or maybe some sort of a magical plant? I don't know. I see smoke, so I think it's a fire that's just not fully revealed. So, can, click, click, per, click. Okay, I guess I'll use tab. I think I'll just come in from the side. It looks a lot better than coming in through this tiny door. Let's do it. Moving. Yeah, a lot more cover, a lot more room to spread out over here. Plus, this is where the meld canister is. Of course, you can't quite make it to cover. <sighs> Alright, just stand out in the open. It's okay, you're an assault. You can take the abuse. Neither can you. Alright, I'll have one person on Overwatch. That sounded like the Sectopod. Alright, let's grab this thing. That looks quite a bit like the Sectopod. If only my battle scanner had a little bit more range. Well, before I die, I might as well collect this. I don't think you're going to be shooting. I think I'm going to be running you around the corner. However, that's going to pop the Overwatch. Do I have any choice? I could pop it with Gary Warner, but then Gary Warner is going to get shot at instead of the mech. Is that really any better? Not really. Hmm. Hold on, what do you have? Hold on. I might be able to tank this with him. Alright. Whenever you take damage, all further damage will be reduced by two for the next two turns, and also two health recovery at the end of it, but it's... Um, any hit that is more than 33% of the max maximum health is reduced to that number. The nearest visible enemy suffers minus 20 aim and cannot critically hit this unit. I could actually tank the shots, and I'm guaranteed to survive. Can I blow up these fuckers? I'm thinking the best thing to do is just blow up the damn drones. And tank the shots. Does that make sense? Alternatively, I could run around the corner, almost certainly getting shot in the process. And then reposition my troops to shoot at it. I don't want to move them too close, though, because the thing is, my troops might get wrecked by that thing's AoE. That, that massive AoE rocket attack thing.
This is tough. This is really tough. I know he can survive. He's guaranteed to be able to survive, but then what do I do next turn? I mean, I can move Spectre over here, and then I can get a couple shots off on it next turn. Pretty much guaranteed. Okay, that's good. I could move Soul over here, and then get a rocket off next turn. That's good. I could leave you here. Maybe even just launch a grenade. Hmm. Well, I could move you up and then launch the grenade. Actually, I can do both. I can move you up, launch the grenade, and move you out of the way. Which is probably the best thing to do. I'm thinking. It probably is, isn't it? <sighs> I need it to come to me, because if it stays back there, the only one who can shoot it is basically my sniper. Right. If I move up this many spaces, will I be able to shoot them? Moving. Just to make sure, let's move up a little bit more. Alright, where is it? I saw it. I saw it. Eh, eh, eh. Right there. Alright, those little fuckers are dealt with. Now. I can't pop its overwatch with Gary Warner without him being put in extreme danger. So... I'm just going to do this. It didn't even hit. Excellent. Now I need to revisit my troops very well. Okay. My sniper absolutely needs to be able to see it. Like, this should be good, yeah. Good height advantage, she's in full cover. He has any covers full cover for her. And she should be able to shoot it. I want my rocket up there too, although... Yeah, it's not a shredder rocket, unfortunately. That's only Finn. I'll put you up here. Ah, if only I could suppress it. That'd be very nice. I'm thinking maybe I should pop the smoke. If it does the AoE attack, though, it doesn't matter. Will it? Can I stop it? Not really. Let's go ahead and move you up here. Hmm. Pop a smoke. The thing is, it should only be able to attack once. If it moves. Because if it moves, then it can only have one action point left. Yeah, I'm going to pop a smoke. I mean, what is a smoke grenade for if not... If not protecting your troops from a sectopod? Nothing I'm going to encounter is going to be harder than that. And Overwatch. Your move. Please don't AoE. Are you going to AoE? Don't AoE. Oh good, you're not AoEing. Okay. Whew. I'm lucky. Actually, you know what? It might it probably needs both it probably needs both action points to AoE. It's probably like a, a rocket launcher. Where you need both. Okay. I 
can shoot the thing. I might not need to. Let's do this first. Let's see how much I can do to it. Nothing at all. Okay. This is off to a bad start. Spectre. That's better. It's still not even half dead, though. Okay, it's not dead this turn. <laughs> no way. Zero way. I'd like to move in and shoot you with Gary Warner, but then Gary Warner's probably dead. thing is, though, I'm pretty sure it's just going to use his AoE, because it, it makes sense to use the AoE attack. And it can do it, and it can see us, with all two of its movement or action points, so... Yeah. It's not going to hit. That thing has so many different weapons. It's got a grenade, it has an AoE, a massive AoE rocket thing. It has a huge laser, and then it also has a little plasma thing. Hmm. Maybe should just proximity mine. Yeah, that's, that's much better. Much better chance. It's guaranteed to do damage to it, whereas the normal shot only has about a 50% chance to do anything. All right, Gary Warner, you're going to be my bait. It's going to have to decide between using an AoE attack or shooting you. Okay. Gary Warner, please don't hate me. <laughs> that was a miss. Okay, if you say so. Alright, my people are spread out enough that it can't hit everyone. I could shoot it with a rocket, but it's not going to work. I'd like to suppress it. In fact, I probably should. I don't want to move you out of full cover to do it. But there's a smoke cloud, so what the hell? I'm going to do it. Although I'm actually not sure if you're in the smoke cloud anymore, are you? I don't know. I don't know. Now keep in mind, suppressing it is not going to do anything when it comes to its AoE attack. Which is probably what it's about to do. Oh, no. Okay. Whew. The smoke's even gone, too. Alright, second shot. Second shot. My Gary Warner bait worked. Alright, this thing's dead. Okay. I'm gonna be shooting a rocket. I'm so going to be shooting a rocket. That is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I want everything to die. Goodbye. Did you seriously have to miss that? Was that really necessary? <sighs> okay. Right. I could do that. It would kill the Sectopod and do a little bit of damage to that.
I kind of want to just wait for this thing to come around the corner. This mechtoid. I kind of do. In fact, I'm going to. I'm on it, Commander. Lightning reflexes. Your overwatch is no match for me. Except now I can't see it anymore, which is highly inconvenient. I now I don't know if I'm gonna hit the Mectoid. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Ooh, I did. Excellent. Now we can just wait for the thing to come around the corner. Oh, your cover's blown up. Hmm. Throw a battle scanner. But that's a waste. Alright, time for some Overwatch. Which, by the way, I discovered, thanks to a tip from a viewer, that there's actually a hotkey, a rebindable hotkey if you wish, for Overwatch. You can just press Y. So you don't have to hunt for the button because the Overwatch key can be different between different troops. For them it's three, for you it's four. Yeah, so it differs. Or you can just press Y. More Overwatch. And more Overwatch. Alright, hopefully this thing will die before it has a chance to do anything. It just might, actually, with that hit. That was a very nice hit, John Smith. Ooh, 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 you're dead. Yeah, you cannot avoid a shotgun shot from that close. I know there's a little sectoid in there. Somewhere over there. I think it was so cute. I guess it ran away. It ran away when it heard its mectoid falling to the ground in defeat. There is no cover whatsoever here. All right, and apparently the other meld canister is somewhere over here. Might even be outside of the ship. particularly care about that other melt canister. So I'm just going to move up cautiously and reload. Because I definitely need to reload pretty badly. Ready to fire. Overwatch. Overwatch. Move and reload. There's the sectoid. Are you gonna flank me? Are you gonna flank me? Well, apparently not. Whatever. I'm just gonna ignore it. Well, okay. I'll go blow it up. Hmm. I suddenly changed my mind. No! You can flank me. You can flank me, that's fine. 
I'm not going into that mute on hell. Why didn't they even... How did I see them, but they didn't see me? I don't even know how that works, but I'm not going to complain. I'm on it, Commander. <sighs> I want to get over here. I guess I'll just have to sprint next turn. Parti. She's there. Packing my soldiers in like sardines. Talk about asking for an AoE attack, huh? Look at this. That that is not tactically sound. Hey, There's that little guy. Oh, it's a commander! He probably thinks he can mind control. Oh, it's so sweet! Was it actually going to be successful? Nope. Valiant effort. Uh-oh. Oh, how can I? I? I don't understand why I can see them. I shouldn't be able to see them. They're not aggravated, they're just moving. But for some reason I can see them. Strange. That's better. Okay. I don't really want to reposition my troops to take out those mutons. I think I'll just ignore them for now. Running. Yeah, start moving over there. Really not sure. I'm really not sure whether I want to move up here inside of the ship or around the outside on the right. Because I suspect the metal canister is actually outside on the right. Okay, je bouge. I don't know. I think I'm going to stick to the inside. Once again, AoE bait. Yeah, I really shouldn't be able to see them. That, that can't be right. That's gotta be a bug. Let's go take a peek inside. Hello? Nothing. All right, it's time to move up. I'm on the move. Yes, I know they're there. I can hear them. I can see them. Or at least I could. They seem to have disappeared. Okay, now I can't see them.
running. De acuerdo. Let's keep Spectre on a high ground here. Moving to full cover, reload my mechs, and end the turn. Resupply completed. Oh, there's a melt. I just realized there's a melt canister. There it is. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. Yeah. Mm, forget it. I really don't need it. It's fine. I'm not going to go all the way around the outside just to get it. I could sprint. No, that's way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. All right, let's get my people positioned up to this door. And next turn, we'll move in. Moving. Roger, Dodger. Hmm. I could throw a battle scanner. But to be able to throw it, I'd pretty much have to be able to see around the corner anyway. Which isn't the greatest, unless you can throw it over there. You can. Okay, I'm not really sure how much it's going to show me, but let's do it. There's never anything in that damn room. At least nothing that's revealed by the battle scanner. That sucks. I sure hope those mutons don't find me this turn. Okay. Let's take a peek. What was that? All right, safe so far. I'm surprised. Aye, aye, Commander. Where are they? I know there's mutons somewhere over there, but where's everyone else? Affirmative. Voy hacia ese lugar. You know what, I've heard that there's an option. 
that allows you to skip these soldiers talking, which would allow you to do actions like Overwatch without having to wait for them to finish saying something. Let me see if they're, that's a thing. Soldier's speech. Would that do it? Let's try that. So I'm gonna Overwatch. Uh, I guess it's a little bit quicker. Is it gonna stop them from talking entirely though? I don't... That doesn't seem to be any faster. I'm just gonna leave it on. It seems like you still have to wait. Okay. Here they are. Or not? What? Can we see them or not? I don't get it. Apparently we can't see them, and yet it seems to think we can. I don't get it. Alright, well, I don't want them hanging out behind us. So let's go welcome them. Let's go welcome them to the... Welcome them to the neighborhood. Let's get this party started. They're making me nervous hanging out back there. I don't think the Berserker can get to us and attack in the same turn. So let's focus on these things. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the chance. Come on, Gamble. Come on, Gamble. And it paid off. How about you? That is a very bad chance. Hmm. Oh. I didn't even think of that. It's okay if you miss, you have double tap. That's perfectly fine, the second one will hit. Probably. Mm hmm. Alright, if you want to come up and pay us a visit, Berserker, be our guest. Come on. Yeah. You're angry, aren't you? What What did you do? It just walked into the corner. Okay. I'm just going to reload and keep waiting. Hmm. I'll put you on Overwatch. Come on. I know you're angry. There you go. Sniper shot, sniper shot. There it is. Two hit points. Well, that's going to intimidate it. <laughs> Triggering the last Overwatch and killing it. Oh no, the meld that I don't need. Moving up here. Yeah, should I go on the side or just go straight to the front? Oh, 
I don't know if there's anything in there. Let's go over to the side. Take a peek inside. Mm, nothing. Looks like we're on a gigantic cliff. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> we're on a cliff. And a large part of the UFO is hanging off. That's very scary, actually. Gotta be careful with my grenades. Don't want to blow up the floor that I'm standing on. Let's just move up. Time to go into the captain's chamber, whatever the hell it's called, the the bridge. Eh, I like captain's chamber. It sounds cooler, doesn't it? The chamber of captainry. This is where the captaineering happens. Turn of movement, and we should be good. I definitely want Spectre up here. Heading there now. Go ahead and reload you. Ready to engage hostile targets. Yeah, And I will reload you. Heading out. Ready to rock. All right, I have a massive amount of firepower here. Right in front of the door, I have Spectre, who can take two shots. I have my Heavy, which can take two shots. I have my two mechs, which can both take two shots. And I have Gary Warner, who can run in. Let's greet the aliens. Oh, hi! Of course. They're down. Let's go say hello. I really want to launch a proximity mine, but you know what I'm going to do? Let's just wait. Yeah, yeah, why don't you come up? Why don't you come up and pay us a visit? I promise we won't bite. Nope. We're very hospitable people. You're dead. Unless you're not going to pop the Overwatch. What do you... Oh. Okay, I guess because he floated up, he doesn't pop the Overwatch. And it failed. Good job. Well, now you're definitely dead. You are dead ten times over. <laughs> it's got 
one hit point left. Hold on. As a final insult, can I kill it with a pistol? Yeah. This is a fuck you to all the ethereals out there. I'm gonna kill you with my pistol. My unupgraded pistol. Or is that a laser pistol? I'm not sure. Nope, it's an unupgraded pistol. Fuck you. Yeah, you turn into stone. No one likes you. Did it turn into stone? It kind of looked like it turned into stone. I don't know, maybe it just has gray leathery skin. If it was stone, I don't think it would have crumpled to the floor because, you know, stone tends to be, like, hard and stuff. Anyway, let's just blindly launch a proximity mine in. If they want to come up the stairs, be my guest. Hmm. I don't think I heard any explosions. I'm disappointed. What the? They're, they're just hiding in the corner, aren't they? Would you come out of the corner? Fine, I'll just blow you up in the corner then. If that's how you want it to be, that's how it will be. Might be able to take a shot? No. That's all you're gonna do. Okay, then. Oh, looks like your cover's blowing up. How unfortunate for you. I don't think I have any way to trigger that. Let's just blow you up. Moving to firing position. On the move. Taking fire over here. Let's just hope the muton doesn't move. It's not going to, but if it did, that would be very inconvenient for Gary Warner. Well, that was pretty damn easy. The abductor UFO sounded nasty, but it wasn't. It was perfectly fine. Please express my gratitude to our troops, Commander. In recovering additional meld from the field, they've provided the means for us to expand our development programs. Annette is confident that within the last few months of her captivity, Exalt forces launched a direct assault on the aliens in order to recapture her for themselves. If what she's saying is true, Exalt is even more brazen 
and dangerous than we initially suspected. Does it even matter? They've been defeated. A new gland will allow the brain to detect mental trauma and smooth out the agitation. It can even paralyze the soldier if mental control is lost. Smoothing out the agitation since 1995. All right, what the hell is this thing? Blaster launcher. That sounds cool. Wait a minute. Is that a ro- holy shit. By integrating components of the advanced alien navigation systems, we can fire self-guided rockets capable of navigating to the intended target without direct line of sight. Damage output has also been signif significantly improved through use of the alien fusion core. I'm actually very surprised to see a misspell in such a massive game. Normally everything's proof red to hell. Significantly improved. Huh. Okay, so is that a... Rep Do you have to be a rocketeer to use it or what? I don't know, but that sounds amazing. It sounds like it's essentially the fusion rocket launcher. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. That thing is expensive, and I don't give a damn. Upgrade to conventional rockets that permits projectiles to navigate the battlefield. Holy shit. Substantial damage improvement. Blaster bombs have a blast radius of three tiles. What does that compare to the normal? Blaster bombs are useful for destroying cover and forcing enemies to spread out. Alright. Let's buy one and see who can use it. I'm assuming it's only rocket launchers. No oh, arrows back. Yeah, it's gotta be heavies only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, standard rockets have a blast radius of 3. Base damage is 6. Base damage is 9. And, of course, they're, well, guided. <laughs> oh, boy. That thing. I can't even imagine how awesome that's going to be, especially when Finn gets her hands on it, because she can shoot three separate rockets. Whereas, unfortunately, Soul can only take one. Alright, well, let's start the gene mods. Now that arrow's back, I can put her into the program. Sure, it has an amazing amount of upgrades, but let's do neural damping. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Gene mods, gene mods, gene- oh. I could leave them alone and everything would be fine because they're not even panicked, but let's not do that. Alright, well, everybody's off for gene mods, so I guess it's the same people. Yep. You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you have the new rocket. Yep, blaster launcher. Let's go. Prepare for deployment strike one. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Operation Shattered Number Giant. Disturbing reports indicate the aliens are openly attacking civilian targets within a major city. Oh god, we have civilian targets. Well, they're gonna die. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike One has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. With all due respect, my highest priority is to make sure I don't die. 
These civilians will be the second priority. Well, that didn't take long. Eh, just a bunch of chrysalids. Very easy. Oh, hi. Oh, bye. I never thought there would come a day when I said chrysalids were easy, but at this point, they truly are. I'm gonna save you. Yes. Run to the spot on the bridge and disappear into a different dimension. So, can it show me the bending shot? <laughs> Look at that. You can see it bending. <laughs> oh, that oh, that is so cool. Look at that. It can go through the truck's window. Damn. Talk about a trick shot. That is so cool. <laughs> is that seriously going through the car's window and then over the truck on the other side? I had no idea it was so accurate. And it does 12 damage now. Alright, you're not going to be in cover, but it's okay. We're only facing chrysalids, so cover doesn't matter. Please don't kill civilians. Nope, there goes one. You're dead. Oh, you still had an attack left? <sighs> Ooh. I think that turns him into a zombie, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to turn into a zombie next turn. Which is rather inconvenient. Okay. Alright, there's the other one. You can probably shoot... Oh, can't quite see that one. Take a shot at you. I want some Overwatch here because I'm pretty sure that civilian's gonna turn into a zombie. Don't ask me how that works, I have no idea. But apparently, Grizzlids can make zombies. Alright, let's see if what happens is what I think is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Chrysalids can make zombies. Because why not? <laughs> I 
taking one hit point. Well, he can try to eat John Cotton Candy Smith, but I don't think he's gonna taste like Cotton Candy. Holy shit! That thing just did 8 damage. A swipe from a zombie just did 8 damage to a gigantic mech. I don't even know how that works. Alright, I'd like to reload. I've already lost four, though. I need to move. Kinetic Strike's probably the way to go. That's gonna use up your whole turn, though. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna reload. The civilians can wait. Well, I've been I've not been doing a good job saving the civilians, have I? Well, that's not a good time to find new aliens. Hmm. I could blow them up, but then I'd blow up a bunch of civilians. Which is, um, not a good idea. Which one is that? Is that the Berserker? It is. Alright, let's do that. Make it come closer. Put it in the shooting range of my allies. <laughs> Almost killed it. Who could even do anything? You're the only one who can do anything. Yeah, shooting a rock is definitely not the thing to do. Let's just move up. Give them something to shoot at other than the civilians. Maybe that'll help them. Maybe. Oh. Okay, need to remember. It's on Overwatch, and I think the civilian's about to die to a drone. Nope, but that one is. These civilians are not having a good day. They're really, really not. Right. Well, let's just take care of the cyberdisc. Uh, what? I don't understand. You have double tap. You can shoot twice. Why Why can't she shoot again? That makes no sense whatsoever. She has the ammo. She has the target. Okay. I think that bugged out. All 
Alright, let's just move here and just shoot that thing in the face. Oh, hello, little drone. I don't care about you. I'm going with the the best defense is a good offense sort of thing here. Don't help the civilians directly. Instead, just blow up the aliens and then they're perfectly safe. Alright, I'll sprint up a little bit. Gotta make something happen here, because I've only saved one. Which is pathetic. Go. You're safe now. I just right-clicked on the ground. That's wonderful. I just put my only support. Off in a corner. Flanked. Great. There's a civilian up here. I guess I'll come get you. Let's do this. Oops, I just punched the microphone. Sorry, that was probably very loud. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Shit just got real. I'm doing a really, really bad job saving civilians. The good thing is their ammo sinks. Wait, why is there a civilian here? This person ran away. Look, they don't even have a ring. I okay, whatever. Okay. Wait, wait, where's the sectopod? I don't even know. I'm gonna save you. I can't quite make it into cover. Hmm. I kind of want to just move you into a better position. But you couldn't even sprint anywhere worth a damn, so... I guess not. I think we should just overwatch to hell. That's what I'm thinking. Look at four. Game Z. Only six damage, that's it. That's great. Well, that'd be a shitty rocket. I can kill either a drone or a muton with two hit points. Alright, I gotta move you down. I gotta get you closer. How are you not in the ring? Ah, whatever. Hmm. Huh. Didn't expect that to happen. That's pretty fucking bad. However, thank God I can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna suppress that. Okay. That's great. Well, I can actually shoot it. Well, I'm certainly not gonna kill it this turn. So let's just go ahead and take out the 
drone. Or not. This sucks. This really sucks. Do I go for that little fucking drone that might ruin my day, or what? Alright, let's do this. Next turn, Spectre can use her headshot anyway. And she'll have just enough ammo to do it. And we can do a double whammy here. Proximity mine. And a grenade. Enjoy. Serving up death for breakfast. How... what? <sighs> I don't even know what happened. Did the proximity mine even do anything? I just... Fuck the proximity mines. They, ne like, they, like, never seem to work. I don't know if they're buggy or if there's something about their functionality, I just don't understand. They just never seem to work, though. Well, you're annoying. Wait, what? You shot her rather than Graves. Okay, well, at least the civilians are smart enough to take cover. Step number one. Kill the sectopod. Five damage. What? Okay. <sighs> Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, I was about to say... Am I crazy or is double tap bugging out? Because I shot that thing once. I can still see it. And yet, my entire turn was used up with the first shot. Right? Unless I messed up and I'm missing something? No, I only shot it once, right? Double tap allows both actions to be used for standard shot, headshot, or disabling shot, provided no moves were made. Actually, it does say one turn cooldown. Maybe it's on cooldown? I don't how would you tell though? I don't know. Whatever. The important thing is I can't shoot with her anymore. So that kinda sucks. Can no one see it? Not from where they're at. I would use the proximity mine, but apparently it doesn't work. So I guess I won't. I'd like to suppress it again. Or I could shoot a rocket, do 12 damage. Well, I don't think it's actually going to do 12 damage, it's probably going to do half that. Because they seem to take half the damage. I'd like to move her and suppress it. Provided she can actually see it from here, which she actually might not be able to. I don't know, but it does have Overwatch, so I really need to pop that. Let's, um, let's see if I can trigger the Overwatch here. No. Shit. Alright, well, I might as well kill you. Or not. This little fucker is so obnoxious. Just, just die, please. Thank you. 
Nathan, go away. I don't like you. No one likes you. You are unloved and unwanted. Kind of worried about that thing doing its super attack. But what the hell can I do about that? move here. It might seem insane and suicidal, but M is pretty much guaranteed to be able to stay alive because he has a thing that prevents uh, any one attack from doing more than 33% damage. So that actually sounds rather good to me. I mean, I either put him in danger or I put Soul in danger. I'm gonna do it. Please, I hope the I hope this doesn't hit. I really hope this doesn't hit. Wait, you see another enemy? What's the other Oh it's a drone. Oh it's a fucking drone. That's gonna be a problem. It's probably gonna heal the sectopod. I, I, I know they can do that with cyberdisks. I actually don't know if they can do that with sectopods, but I'm assuming they can. Of course that's not gonna be an issue because I can just blow it up. Goodbye. Alright, so again, what I'm really trying to do here is prevent it from being able to do its super AoE attack. So, I'm going to move Soul up. And I'm going to suppress. Which means, it either has to decide between using its AoE... Or shooting. I'm trying to bait it into shooting us. And I'm trying to make it so that it can't shoot us very well. Because it'll be suppressed. And it has to choose between multiple targets. Reducing the chance of any one dying. So this should work pretty well. I'm going to give it a lot of targets to shoot at. Yeah, let's give us some more targets to shoot at. Gonna bait it. Excellent. What are you gonna do? Okay. Suppress is coming in handy. What about the second shot? Eh, that's okay. It's not too bad. It looks really bad, but it's not too bad. Alright, you're dead. I kind of want to just move her closer. She's so far away. But then again, is this the entire... Actually, this is the entire map, isn't it? This is the entire map. There's really no need to move her closer. I should have reloaded her and used the ever everyone else to kill it, actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, <laughs> not enough ammo. But, but, I could shoot it with my pistol, right? No, I can't. I can't do it. Why did it even leave me my turn? I can't even do anything. I managed to save more civilians than died. That's good, I guess. I don't know. That mission didn't go particularly well, but everyone's fine, which is the most important part. Except for the eight civilians that died. But other than that, everyone's fine. Not a 
casualty. I'm certainly impressed by our soldiers' <laughs> combat abilities. Not a single casualty amongst our ranks. Are you forgetting about the civilians? I guess no one cares about the civilians. Panic has decreased across Asia. We will be in, touch, Commander. in fact, what is panic looking like? I am certain now that <laughs> Annette was somehow involved in the attack on XCOM headquarters. Her limited memories of the event include details that no one outside of our organization could possibly know. But the question remains, what is it about her that makes her so valuable to the aliens? Good question. Hmm, apparently I need to increase our soldier's psionic strength. I actually forgot about the psi powers. Did I take anyone who had psi powers? No, they're all in the genetic lab. Okay. All right, well, making some solid progress. Let's, um... Actually, before I end, let's get the gene mods done and check out the fusion lance. But you've been unlocked enemy within. Fusion lance available for manufacture. We've taken genetic modification further than any of us ever imagined possible. Our soldiers are now more than human in so many ways, all in the name of victory. Once we achieve that victory, the question remains, what will become of them? Right. So apparently it's the most powerful anti-air weapon. Or air-to-air -air weapon, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, anti-aircraft weapon. However, it should be capable of taking down any UFO engaged by the firestorm. The thing is, my EMP cannon seems to already be completely capable of that. It seems to be more than capable. I wonder why this is alien crew survival much more likely if their craft is downed by EMP. Does that mean you're you're like trading off the amount of aliens for damage? So it does more damage and it's better able to take down ships, but you're going to encounter more resistance. If so, then I I guess that's fine. I mean, I've done fine. I think I'll just stick with the EMP cannon. I mean, when I get my next paycheck, I guess, from the council, I guess I could outfit them all with fusion lances? I mean, why not? What else am I going to spend my money on? I certainly don't need the materials, so... From the ships, I mean, so it doesn't matter if I blow them up. Anyway. Alright, well, yeah, making some solid progress. I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.